and 68 degrees in the South Bay, but I don't want to bury the headline. We have a lot of rain coming in, and I'm talking about rain rivaling records that we haven't seen for decades. So let's talk about what we're expecting before we hit that rain. Temperatures are going to stay comfortable. We end up in the upper 60s all the way through Wednesday. Then by Wednesday night into Thursday, the heavy stuff arrives. But as the system starts to move in, we're going to see a lot of instability. So it's not just going to be a rain event. It's going to be a wind event as well. You'll notice here on your key, 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts frequently occurring across the board as we wake up on Thursday morning. Ways that you can prepare, help out your neighborhood, make sure that you're securing your situation. You want to clear out the storm drains and the storm gutters on your roof. Two to five inches of rain widespread. And a lot of this is not going to come through over that 48 hours that we're giving ourselves. That's a nice window. A lot of this is going to come through over 24 hours. That's why we're also expecting rock slides, mud slides over 17, over devil slide, over the usual suspects. You want to bring loose items indoors. With sustained wind speeds all across the Bay Area of 30 to 40 miles per hour, frequent gusts above 50 miles per hour. And yeah, like we said before, especially if you live in a flood prone area, you want to grab those sandbags. Remember yesterday when we told you to clean out your storm drains? Well, take a look at a neighborhood where they didn't get out there in time to clean those drains. This is Terra Nova at Alicante in Pacifica, sent in from Linda Mendoza, and they're out there right now trying to get that drain opened up so that all this water will drain. But you can see property damage as a result of people just not clearing out their storm drains. Now, I can tell you right now, the heaviest rainfall is just starting to move into the South Bay. We've been mostly dry up until the last few hours. But now that it's in here, we are going to talk about this front really hitting us at least for the next eight hours in the South Bay. Here's the deal, though. You're getting a little bit of a break at this point all the way from North Sonoma County to the very tippy top of Marin. Still have those moderate downpours, though, from Marin County all the way down across the Golden Gate Bridge and down the peninsula. In addition to that, we're noticing lightning firing off near Tahoe. We are fair game for thunder and lightning as this system has a lot of power and a lot of instability. So Associated with it. Now you can see at this point the heavy stuff has not even made it to Gilroy, Morgan Hill, but it will be there in just moments. And take a look at this: people trying to cross water where they cannot detect the depth, getting stuck. This is from San Mateo, courtesy of the San Mateo Fire Department. We've got our crews out in full force trying to help people just like this. Please, we urge you stay where you are, unless it's up in the North Bay where we're finally getting some relief. And I do want to show you what these kind of rain rates do to our highways. As you know, all that rain coming in at once, that water has nowhere to go. And you can see what happened 101 at Oyster Point in South City. Really, really dangerous conditions. And you're talking about 101 looking that way. Also, we had a lot of reports of people who had to go to work today getting stuck at the office because their parking lot had flooded, just like you saw there. Please keep sending us your pictures. You are our weather watchers across the board. And you can see here from this light drive in Dublin, just like Mike pointed out, people heeding the warning to stay off the roadways. But if you are going to be headed out there, driving around right now, very dangerous conditions. It looks like a giant slip and slide right here through Dublin. I want to show you the radar now, give you an idea of where it's raining heavily, and that's just about everywhere, with the exclusion of Sonoma County getting a little bit of a break up there. But we do have more rain on the way. We're going to get another wave of strong rain as we head throughout the day today into tonight and finally we'll start to clear out tomorrow you might be wondering why so much rain all at once well this is why my friends it's called the atmospheric river it's the steady available plume of moisture that extends all the way from the hawaiian islands to the bay area and you'll notice here i can pull this up for you they call it the pineapple express you probably heard of it before as we continue to hit that tap by tonight we're still going to have that heavy rainfall so we're talking about eight to twelve hours in parts of the bay area with heavy rain finally by 6 a.m tomorrow morning getting a little bit of a break from the steady heavy stuff, but we are expecting some strong thunderstorms to develop. We've already noticed that as the actual core of low pressure crosses over us. So even tomorrow, you want to keep your umbrella handy. And I do think that we will see those school closures continue into tomorrow, especially for some of those North Bay schools, because it's just not going to be a long enough drying out period between today and tomorrow. But as we get into the weekend, we will have an opportunity to dry out. Temperatures are going to be chilly. 58 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, 60 
degrees, coldest air of the season so far. Moving into the Bay Area, you'll get to work out that winter wardrobe. By Monday, our next weather maker moves in, and you can see by the reds and oranges, it also has an atmospheric river tap. Best chance for rain right now looks like early Monday into the afternoon hours, and then everything will clear out of here. We're going to talk more about what's coming your way next week because even after we get through that Monday system, Another one comes through. <laughs> I know. Are you I kidding know. me? I know. Well, you know, we've been praying for the rain. You're right. You're yeah, right. I guess our prayers, <laughs> he heard him. Yeah, and I got to tell you, these numbers are going to continue to come in because we've given ourselves 48 hours. That is the window for this storm system. You can see we're not done with it just yet, although the bulk of the moisture is well out of the area right now. Tahoe getting some heavy snowfall above 6,000 feet. Over the course of the next couple hours, those snow levels are going to continue to drop. And by this afternoon, we're talking about a 4,500 foot snow level. For us today, we'll see some light showers, some thunder. Storms, even moderate rain from time to time, but nothing like yesterday. I take it to your future cast. You'll see at about 9 a.m. starting to get some of that moderate rainfall between 9 and noon. That'll be the story, and then we'll clear you out by the end of the day. So your evening commute should be much easier today than it was yesterday. Although I have to say, so many people stayed home yesterday. The evening commute wasn't that bad. I had to actually drive through it. The rain was terrible, but there weren't a lot of motorists out there. So you know what? You're responsible in the Bay Area. We love that about you. Thanks for waking up with us each and every morning. And you know what? Really, it shows that you're listening to us. It really means something. 57 degrees in San Francisco, 55 degrees on the East Shore, and 55 degrees in the North Bay. So a little thunderstorm activity today. That's what we're expecting as we get into the afternoon. Some could be strong, especially over the Santa Cruz Mountains. That's the eyes that I'm really keeping right there focused on the Santa Cruz Mountains for these thunderstorms. But we do have a fair chance up and down the coastline as well. But my bullseye is on the Santa Cruz Mountains. I'm going to show you why. I'll give you an analysis coming up in just a minute. Right now, though, we want to check your drive. 